Good morning. Are we there? Okay, all right. Hey, everybody. Are you rocking? I am. I'm trying to make myself feel good. <laughs> You're holding a baby. I'm imagining that, I don't know, I guess I'm holding the kids. It's Christmas time. Rocking the baby. Yeah. Yeah, that's rocking fun. Rocking the Christmas tree. I know. Are you ready? Are you ready for um, Christmas? No. Yes and no. I mean, I'm pretty ready, but mm -hmm. I still have some presents to wrap and... I was lucky this weekend. I got to go, um, Chris, Chris, I'm not sure if he thinks he was really that lucky, but I went Christmas shopping with Alice's husband, Zach, so shopping for her, and um, it, it's sort of, we've done it before. I'm it's, not sure many families do that. <laughs> I know, but I think he feels pretty, like... He's pretty lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think he feels... I hope so. Yeah, he should. Yeah. 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 So yeah. we got some fun stuff, and... He did a few things on his own. Okay, you know, that's but, good because I think I that's But I just like walked too. around pointing. My, that might be good. That <laughs> might be good. She's talked about that. I've seen your kitchen. You need that. <laughs> oh, fun! So, what Very about you? Fun. What did you do this weekend? Um, well, I was here on Sunday, oh, right. and was... we, were, we were, you know, there were some. We, so the symphony had cowboy Christmas or something this weekend. I didn't go. My parents actually country. did. Oh, country Christmas. And um, Sunday afternoon was a matinee, so it was pretty busy downtown. Before and after, we had a few shoppers for that, so that was fun. Again, a great reason to be downtown. Yep, and that's when I was shopping. When stuff oh, yep. happens, it's 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 exciting. Um, yeah, so we're... Um, uh, Carrie, our youngest, has arrived um, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Ed will get here late on Wednesday night, and then Art is not coming. Wow. Well, so, yeah, that'll be a first to not have one of your kiddos at Christmas in our I house. I know. It is. It is. Maddie hasn't been home for Christmas for a really long time. Yeah. But we're really hoping that next Christmas is going to be their Christmas. They're going to... Mm -hmm. I'm sure I, I already said this, but Maddie is pregnant with baby number two due in May. Mm -hmm. And their plan is to come here for the holidays next year. And remember I was saying it, like, for to come over to our house for Christmas... Like a a, a a newly inducted like mm. partner, it can be kind of overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And I honestly, what I'm thinking is, James has never actually oh, been here for Christmas. Mm. I mean, we were there a couple mm. of years ago for Christmas and had like a miniature version of that. But yeah, he, he luckily they're already married. <laughs> <laughs> he could just say, he "You can't stay here run and now." Back to Australia, <laughs> yeah. No, I, um, Art won't be here because he has a brand new job, like first a real job with benefits. And so in it, I guess note to all of us or selves, whatever, don't start a brand new job two weeks before Christmas, especially if you if want you, to be home if you for wanted. Christmas. Yeah, but that's okay. He's very enthusiastic about his job and, um, I think they're lucky to have him because he's, you know, wanting to work hard. So yeah, so that's, um, but yeah, he's not like on a different continent. That's yeah. not the reason that he's not going to be here. So <laughs> You probably will see him, though. Right, and later. we were happy to have him at Thanksgiving, too. So, yeah. So, anyway, we're, yeah, we're, I'm, I feel like I'm kind of ready. Yeah, it's nice to Your have trees Carrie decorated. Home. Trees decorated, yep. <laughs> Got the nutcrackers out. Oh, I you have, have a nutcracker big collection? nutcracker collection from Germany. Actually, my mom started it in 1982, hmm. and she wrote on the bottom of nutcrackers, like, whose it was and what date, what year it was. So, um, yeah. So over the years it's grown, but the past, what, three Christmases, it wasn't all out together because some of the nutcrackers went to the, to England Oh. Uh -huh. and the others stayed at home. So they're all happy to be reunited, I think. But, um, <laughs> I didn't even get the ones out that were at home here. Um, yeah. So anyway, it was kind of it was kind of fun to get them all out. Good. Well, did yeah. you have nuts? Do you have like a lot of nuts we don't to actually use, use them, them as nuts? We don't use them in so that no way. So no nuts will actually be cracked. And in this climate, I think like the German climate is a little more humid than ours. They like you know the wood gets kind of dried out here. Oh. They have to mm. be re-glued and repaired once in a while. You need to put like a little humidifier in there with them when they're stored away. Right. Yeah, in a perfect world, my staff would handle that, but that's right, <laughs> that's not happening now. So, anyway, back together. that's right. We just yeah, they're get back together. So yay! And Paul, I have, Paul is joined. Oh, hi, hi Paul. Paul. Hey, we miss you. Yeah, Paul will be coming back to Billings, I think, in a maybe maybe a couple oh. days okay. or today. 
<laughs> oh, safe okay. travels, Paul. Oh, all right. <laughs> Well, and in case you didn't notice, I do have a little cold, so if I do cough, don't be alarmed. I'm all, I'm, I'm okay. I just, it's like a head cold. It's just a little yeah. scratchy thing. So. All right. Okay. Tea. Okay. Cough drops. And Lots drugs. of fluids. Yay. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. So we are, um, we've got a deadline looming. Yep. For anyone who's yes, still on the fence. And it's been pretty fun to watch the and mm -hmm. see what everyone's choosing. Because mm -hmm. there's so many choices. Subscription box. There's the... On the rocks. On the rocks. Mm -hmm. Subscription yarn box. So there's the hot toddy. So that's going to be your warm colors. Browns, mm -hmm. rust, oranges. The splash of pomegranate will be sort of like soup. Mm, yep. So. And so kind of plums, pinks, purples, mm -hmm. that kind of range. Mm -hmm. We've got to give ourselves a big broad. Right. And then there's um, there's the twist of lime. So mm -hmm. that's going to be blue, blues, greens, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it could go anywhere from darks to navies to mm -hmm. light, bright uh, limes. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid of that. Um, and then salt on the rim, that's going to be more the the really rich neutrals mm -hmm. so there could be some heathers in there and some pale golds and vanillas and mm -hmm. stuff like that or you could do the full flight mm -hmm. so which would mean you would get uh one of everything mm -hmm. so throughout the year right so <clears throat> quarterly, four shipments one each of yeah the, right so quarterly you'll receive a small project um, complete with pattern yarn um, and a small gift. We're collaborating with Zest, our local uh -huh. kitchen shop. Um, and there'll be small projects so that you can work them into everything else you're doing throughout the year. Yep, we're pretty excited. They're not going to overtake yep. your life. We've already started choosing. Yep, we're excited. <coughs> yeah. Yes. So anyway, gonna be December really 31st is the deadline for that, and your first box comes out um, mid-January. Yeah. Yeah. So moving right along. So we're today going to look back a little bit on our year and look forward to next year because next week um, we're going to be closed on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yep, 26, Linda and I will split 20, yeah. screen. Yeah, 29. Um, well, obviously we're closed Christmas and the next right, day. Right, right. Anyway, so we're closed for a bit. But next Tuesday we'll be, um, we'll be here doing a split screen. I'll be in Illinois visiting with the in-laws. You'll I'll be, be here. at home visiting myself. You'll be at home. <laughs> so the shop will not be open. <laughs> and so we'll kind of just we'll probably do like a little, a little just bit. a little knit. Yeah. yeah. So grab your knitting for next week. Yeah. Just see. So um, we might be still looking forward into the new year next week, but probably not. We'll be mostly chatting. Yeah. I mean, right. for the video. But, you know, we can chat about <laughs> just about anything. That's right. Okay. So today, um, it's been a big year. It has been, and if you can't see, we've, you know, the big <laughs> digs so much. It yeah. seems so much like home to me now. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's mm -hmm. hard to remember. I know we were in this other little spot, mm -hmm. but, um, but this place just seems so much like home. It's fun every week. We're like, where do we want to do the video? Because we have so many options. I know, well, and we, we had... still haven't. I mean, gosh, we could go sit in front of our counter sometime. Right. I know. But anyway, There's lots of, we have lots of little nooks and crannies in here. It's great. Yeah, it's fun for mm -hmm. everybody to come in and mm -hmm. look. And they're just, they're everywhere. So. We do. We love our spot. But it was a big year to move. I mean, moving's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I wouldn't recommend it to very many people <laughs> to do it every year. That's for sure. I People do, but people, I'm I know. not doing it moving's again. a lot. This is it. Yeah, no, we're not moving the shop. And then as I look back, because, you know, you kind of look, we were kind of looking back on our knitting year, too. And I think the move kind of interfered with mine. But also, we moved back from the UK, or Mike yeah. did. And that's, so I just, I don't know if I'm trying to make excuses, but holy cow. Well, actually, I don't think you need to make any excuses <laughs> for not getting your knitting done. <laughs> but, or maybe I'm just getting old, but I don't know. Anyway, we'll, yeah, next year's a new year. So that's good. We can close it. Um, yeah. One of our biggest projects, well, first things we did last year, though, was yeah, that the, was bang so it out, the bang out a rug. That so was, so I stole this from next to our bed. Modern it, it looks daily, loved. It is. It is. It looks like a great cozy rug. Modern Daily Knitting, every year in February, they have bang it out. 
And so, and it's always been a sweater. And then they really threw us a curveball. Twenty twenty one, maybe that's what happened. It just maybe. like messed me up. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we'll blame the year. No. But um, so it was bang out a rug, and the, it was a fun project. Anyway, did you so, bring yours? No, mine's still on the needles, and I had started okay. it quite a long time ago. That's okay. Yep, that is totally okay. Um, but if that's something anyone's interested in, we've got we still have all the yarn. Oh yeah, um, it's for a that. fun project. A lot of people did more than one rug. Yeah, and they're still doing them mm -hmm. actually. I don't know. Yeah. We probably shouldn't talk about those two who did the combined one because I think it was a gift. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, w there have been multiple rugs made this year. So. Yay, and that's yeah. that was February. And then we like moved in May. <laughs> so that was a lot. But we tried to find a few things to do and we did a great sock exchange. Well, and then yeah, moving was a lot. And then to kick things off in here, we did a summer sock exchange. So um I think we signed up kind of in June and then we knit all summer. You had the summer to make your yep. socks. And so Yay! These are my socks. Mine are at home. Um, and Sherry, thank you. They're great festive socks. I'm wearing them around the house quite a bit. They're sparkly. They're sparkly. They are. I, I actually really enjoyed that sock. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed knitting my socks. Yeah. So we plan to do another one of those in 2022. It might be the only time I get any socks done. <laughs> well, sometimes you just have to put things on the calendar I could do, so get I could do it like a Christmas stocking. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Christmas yeah, stocking yeah, yeah. instead of just yeah. a sock. So we did sock exchange. We had a sweater knit along for the fall. Sea change in Alaska sweater. If you guys are doing that, I hope they're going great. Mine is on the needles. Well, you've got sleeves done, sleeves right? Sleeves are done. I did kind of pull it out. I thought about bringing it, but it's sort of hmm. in a tangly mess because I'm on some color work still. Mm. But well, anyway, this is this is one this of them. This one is the a summer one. The fireworks and that Ashley brought fun. hers to hers sands the the little nipples on here. I'm anti bubble. <laughs> anti bubble. I am I with am. you on that one too. But you're anti glitterati too. So like I'm not really sure about you. This was a fun. <laughs> a lot of people are not sure about. But that. I do. I actually did like the bobbles. Mm -hmm. I and think a lot of people made that. Fine. And I, I think it's like sort of like a built-in necklace kind mm -hmm. of. It's pretty. It's like little no, pearls. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. I just don't want to make them with mm -hmm. my needles. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Your needles are. A Ashley, you knit a lot of sweaters this year. Yeah, you've I did. like been mm -hmm. crazy. Do you think it was my adventure in the hospital that made me maybe maybe slow down and knit I more? bet that could maybe. have been it because that was a fun summer. How adventure. many do you figure you did? I. You knit several sweaters this summer. Like four or five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a blog there's about it. Something about mm -hmm. short sleeves too, I know. Mm -hmm. that makes me get them done because I know I only have to do a tiny bit of a sleeve. I know, time. and usually, yeah. like on this one, it's just like the mm -hmm. ribbing. Yeah, yeah. I did this sweater this year. I did start this in the winter, um, set it aside, picked it up, finished the sleeves. This I know. Is I actually think that's kind of a good way to do things. Yeah. You know, Start it last right. winter, take a summer break, take a and summer get break. back to it, and it's not or as a much. moving break as the case may be. I love, I do love this osprey. I love wearing this sweater. Yeah, it it's feels cozy. really nice. It's American Are you on wool. Skin? I've got a cami on because it's going to get warm in here probably today. It's going to heat up, but so I have something else to change into. But anyway, I love this. And Ashley did finish a cowl with like the baby sister to osprey. Is um, okay. yeah, look. This is the bulky version. <laughs> There's the sport weight they chickadee. They all work lovely and together. And Ashley just finished this. Um, What's this called? Pretty? The Recollect. The Recollect. Recollect. I think this is an Andrea Maori pattern, and mm -hmm. that's really pretty. So yeah, it's gorgeous. That was a fun knit. Mm. It, it looks was. fun. Like the predictable. Text. Yes. Once you get a, a chart mm -hmm. done, you get it, and you don't have to study the chart anymore. And I could take it wherever I wanted. And there's constantly. You've got a fun Kitchener there at the yeah. end. And I like the good. texture. The texture's great. Yeah. It adds like a rustic look without it like being rustic. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Very pretty. That's fun. Um, okay, so we did. So <coughs> we sort of digressed. You're working on well, a I project. Am, and it was because we were talking about sleeves because oh. I'm totally on like Sleeve Island here. You're almost done. I am. But th these have to be like a long, they have to be long because. Oh. They're they going to be poofy. They so, yes. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now I'm 
It's pretty. That's really beautiful. Hopefully, it feels good. I don't seriously think I'm going to get this done before Christmas. I bet you'll get it done by the new year, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'll just wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Wow, know, like there's some big increasing there for the sleeves. I know. Were you I, just talking about that? I hope I that? did it right. <laughs> Has she tried it on at all to see oh, how a that Oh, a million times. Like, like she, what's the name oh, of that Oh, not one? the sleeve since I did that. Mm -hmm. But I tried it on, and I compared my arm length to her length. It's called Linda's Striped Stripaganzer. It is actually <coughs> Linda's. That's funny. That's the name of the yeah. pattern. Okay. It's from <clears throat> Ramagon. Her Ramagon. arms are maybe an inch longer than mine. Mm, okay. So, and I tried it on. It's a little snug for me, so it'll be great for her. Um, I'm working on this, guys. Uh this is a nice project. It, okay, I'm going to unfurl it because it's kind of fun to watch all the color. <laughs> so, Lang Cloud Yarn does fantastic striping. And it's merino with a little nylon. And it's a giant skein. It's yeah. 300 yards. And so you could theoretically is get a longer scarf. Skein. I just got into my second ball. I'm going to do a big, long, wide scarf. You could do probably a narrower one with just one ball. And it's carriage rib. If you want to, oh, we can tell you all get about a, it. Get a pencil out Grab right your pencils. Now. We it's an easy you. pattern. Um, it's a multiple of three plus four. <laughs> so you've got, um, they say it's no pearl, and it kind of is, but technically you are moving your yarn around like a pearl. So anyway, row one is knit three, slip one pearl-wise with your yarn in front, and then yeah, you just, just repeat, repeat that. that. Round two, or row two, is knit one, slip one with yarn in front. So knit one, slip one, knit one, slip one. Nope, no. nope. Knit one, slip one, yarn in front, and then knit three and repeat and knit oh, and slip oh, one with okay. yarn in front. Okay, so it's the knit one, slip one, knit three, then repeat slip that. Slip one, yarn in front, okay. yeah. <clears throat> um, and we can tell you all about it. And you it cast on what? I have 39 stitches on here. If you want to make it narrower with cloud on a size 10 needle, um, you'd cast on, we think maybe cast on like 20, what did I write down? 28? Okay. Multiple. <coughs> it's, it's a math. It's yes. It's a math. We <laughs> can work it out. But anyway. not a math quiz, but sometimes it works. But it's been a nice Netflix social knitting project. Okay. Um, all right. So that's kind of looking back. Well, yep. Okay. We did our first but, subscription box this past year. Oh, that was right. Big too. And that was really fun. And mm -hmm. we got a good, good, good response. Mm -hmm. So Maybe that's a little overwhelming. Yeah, that might be mm -hmm. why we decided, <laughs> let's do it again. So, but but no, it, now we're seasoned. Now, now we can we, handle it. That's right. Right. Yeah. Double. Yeah. We've that's got right. all the little parts mm -hmm. and stuff. We know exactly what little things we are going to need. We have so. a great workspace in the basement. Yeah. To all together. That's that we, be fun. <laughs> yes, that'll be fun. Um, yeah, last year we were in the mini bar putting together the oh, boxes yeah. and like bringing them over to the, but to the main bar. But loading them up in yeah. the cars. And it was fun. Right. Yeah, it was fun. Um, the other things that are new to the shop for us is um, just getting to take advantage of all the downtown events. I mm -hmm. mean, people ask us every day, so do you like your move? Do you like your new space? And we're like, yeah, we love it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all these built-in things that bring people down and... Um, it's just nice. We've met so many new people that didn't even know we were around. Mm -hmm. And mainly because they just, you know, we, they weren't, they weren't in that mode. But when, then mm -hmm. they found us mm -hmm. and some people weren't even knitters or crocheters. They'd come in and what is this? And we've had people just sign up for knitting and, mm -hmm. and classes. It's a just great. Because they walked by the store. A great sense of community down here. We yeah. Love that. Yeah. We love, we love it. it. And so, um. Yeah, the downtown events are good. We we love having that. And then we also started um, Neighborhood Knitting on Tuesday afternoons here. So our community knit and crochet group. And that is And that great. has been growing. Growing. It's a nice little group of it's people just, that just want to just do visiting, nice things. Chatting. It's good. And then our Friday afternoons are good, too, with yeah, a nice social like group. Like from 3 till we close, usually. Mm -hmm. Nice group of people that... Just come. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's a lot fun of fun. Everyone's yeah, new people got their, and familiar faces, and it's good. <coughs> okay, so on the horizon next year, we have a raise your bar challenge to talk about briefly. Yep, just briefly, but we just it's kind of we started thinking about it. I think Sue sort of 
thought shower about moment. it. Yep. She, yep, shower moment. Um, just basically challenge yourself to find maybe that one thing that you've always wanted to do, but you just never had the motivation to do it. Um, we want to help you get motivated, and it could be a variety of anything. things. Anything. Anything. It, it I mean, be, it's knitting or crochet. Related. It could be learning to do new socks, mm -hmm. or it could be, you know, I need to make my family Christmas stockings by the end of the year. Make a whole set. It could be that. It could be learn five different cast-ons. You know, there's like a Turkish twisted. I don't know. There's a bunch of cast -ons. <laughs> there's a million there's a bunch there's of cast -ons. giant ass fat books that um, have there a are, billion of those. You in could there. do. I mean, you could pull out from your library a favorite book and choose like two patterns yeah in there why did you that buy that goal. book that one time i'm gonna because make you love that sweater here. yeah make it this is your time um it could be it could be you know super specific or it could be open-ended um but we and we want we don't want it to be like the only thing you do for the year we want it to just you want it i want i would like to see people work it into your you know, your, your regular knitting, knitting, knitting schedule. <laughs> so, I mean, and you might be a brand new knitter. And so maybe your challenge is to learn how to make a sweater. Or knit in the round. Just or, a yeah, simple one like that. Something like that. Um, crochet edgings. I mean, the sky is the limit on yeah. it. But we would like to encourage you. And then, um, so we'll have a sign up. And we're, we'll talk about it in a blog and probably our email. Probably. Um, we want you to sign up. And tell us what it's going to be. And so then going forward in the year, we'll also be talking about Different, some of that. Yes, and some people that maybe they had maybe completed I mean, the challenge early or just working on their challenge. And the idea is that we'll all inspire each other too. I mean, we might get, there's just, we there's such a variety of where we are in our, in our knitting journey. So, um, you know, collectively. So I think, I think our shop is, we're able to do this. Um, we have enough of a following. So we will, and then, and then everyone who's participating, we do want you to show us. I mean, if you don't finish your challenge or to actually do your challenge in December, we're not going to yeah, punish this, you. Right. This is, <laughs> but we would like to encourage everyone to do this. Um, but everyone's going to get a tote bag um, like mid-year. We've got to get that developed, of course. Right. But, um, but, but, but yeah, we want... Promise. Yeah. Um, you'll get a discount on yarn from us if you need to get some. I mean, but maybe your challenge is to use up all the blue yarn in your stash. So you do it. <laughs> we want you to do that. I know a girl named Debbie that has a lot of blue yarn in her stash. <laughs> I dare you, Debbie. Um, I mean, it can be it can be a huge thing. So, I mean, a huge thing. It it is an all encompassing. Yeah, it, it it's can... not. We we are not here to say we want you know. Yeah, our we're not creating any to like do this boundaries for specific you specific thing. So so and maybe you want to sneak something. Maybe you want to put a zipper in your knitwear. I mean, it it is whatever you want it to be. We have a question. Even people who are not local, mm -hmm. they can join in. Too. Yes, 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 absolutely. Yeah. yeah, we, we can get want you a tote bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. We have the postal service. Yeah, we <laughs> want to be. I mean, we've got a nice online following, and we want to include everyone if you want to be included. Um, and so I do think it'll be kind of fun. I do too. Mm -hmm. Now I'm trying to think. Okay. What's well, your challenge going to be? On the website. Yeah, yep. yeah. We haven't got that set up so yet, start but thinking we'll. About yes. It mm -hmm. Now we're putting out. We're putting out the plug now. Yep. Um. So yeah, in 2022, we are having a challenge. It is called Raise Your Bar, R-Y-B. Okay. <laughs> or raise the Bar. So we've got the bar. I mean, you know, we're trying to, that was as creative as we could get. If someone has a better idea, we're open to that too. Um, as raise far as the name. Bar, yeah. it's specific to you. you right. You to pick the challenge. Yeah. Yep. Raise yeah. Your bar. Yeah. And it, again, it, everyone is at a different stage. So just whatever you want it to be. Yeah, I mean, I've mm. always wanted to do brioche, but at the same time, I'm not sure I really want to. I might pick yeah. something else. Brioche, but could be um, I just, for me, mm -hmm. time wise, I'm not sure that I have the brain space yeah. for that. But there might be a I, there's mm -hmm. plenty of other things mm -hmm. that I've wanted to do, mm -hmm. and just yeah, just so ideally, projects. ideally, <laughs> you would you know kind of think about it, do a little research, you know whether anyway, maybe you have something right now. This is my challenge, um, but. Through January, we'll talk about it some more. But ideally, you'd kind of commit to it in January, and then you'd have the full year to do it. We would love to see your completed whatever it is. 
we kind of want to know what your challenge is so that we can inspire each other collectively. Yep, there will be a spot online, I think, mm -hmm. for that. So we'll talk about it. We'll probably post some pictures about it. Um, you know, in a perfect world, we would be grouping people together who have similar challenges and kind of emailing everyone in those groups, but I don't think we are that perfect. <laughs> um, but we'll be talking about it for sure. So... Yeah, and maybe your challenge is like, I want to knit an entirely thing out of mo, like a sweater out of mohair. You know, maybe that's your challenge. Yeah, whatever you want yeah. it to be, you pick. Yep, so, yeah. Fun. Yeah, we'll talk about it some more. All right. But anyway. Okay. okay guys. All right. Have See a Merry Christmas. Next week. Yep, bring your knitting. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Okay. See you later, Merry Bye. Christmas. Thanks for watching.